Hello guys, today is a, a very unusual uh, song for a gothic, uh, dark wave and uh, industrial metal um, yeah, channel. Uh, but as you know, you know, I, I have a past too, and it's a very checkered past. And um, I, of course, knew um, the suicidal tendencies uh, for a while. They've been formed in 1980, and it was always, you know, this kind of rap metal kind of biohazard. Uh, you know, we came up into this, uh, it wasn't crossover, but... Um, you know, hardcore, the, the early hardcore kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And of course, you, you might know, you know, their bass player um, uh, is now the bass player of Metallica, of, uh, of the current Metallica lineup. Um, so, uh, you know, we've been around and I, I knew that we were good, and um, but it wasn't my cup of tea. You know, to be very absolutely honest, it was kind of uh, usual, uh, you know, um, yeah, 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 can, kind of, yeah, you know, for me, it was very stereotypical. Uh, I got to, I got the intention and, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm absolutely sure I never saw them live that they are killers live. But um yeah, you know, never got really into it. And then they, uh, 1992, I think they released um, the album where uh, Nobody Hears was on. And I was like, wow, we are, you know, there is musically really something there. And I, I mean, don't get me wrong. It, musically, it was there before and we, we were just doing their stuff very well in their genre, which wasn't my cup of tea, basically. But this one, wow, this really blew me away. And I, um, back then, I had it on my on my cassette cassette tape, and in my Walkman, and I was hearing it all the time. And it was kind of um, my soundtrack when I when I moved around. Um, and I think I no, I'm not. I think I wore out the cassette tape a little bit. So um, it's. It's a really, really good song with a with a dark theme, of course. You know, um, just uh, for for me, this kind of shows. Um, you know, to be honest, we were more like a fun punk hardcore band for me before, and here we we showed that we could pu pull off something different, and and you know. And, and be uh, more relevant in different uh, genres and in different uh, ways and not just, you know, having fun. This is fine, you know. I, I like also uh, SOD, you know, Stormtroopers of Death. And um, it's, it's fun. I, I get it. And, um, you know, you don't have to save the world in every song and, uh, you know, be very relevant and deep in everything you do. You know, sometimes we just like entertainment and, so for me, this was kind of a really entertainment band. I know we're coming, uh, you know, from so some harsher places and stuff. So for me, it was really a revelation to to see. Oh wow, we grown and and they they shifted a little bit. You know, we, we stick to their guns, of course, but um, great. I I really I really love this song. It's of course a, a rock song you would say it's not metal it's rock um, um, it's on the heavy side more on the heavy side hard rock you could say but it's it's very well done the lyrics are good the um, um, the voice the voice of a singer is not so much my thing you know it, it's it suits very well but here I, I like it you know it, it has he uses his normal singing style and uh, but delivers it, it a little bit differently and uh, um, you know of course it's for darker undertones and more somber for for a while so please if you don't know them now by now uh, check them out this one is um, if you want to really check out the suicidal tendencies this is a very unusual song for them but um, they are a great band and uh, you know I think they're still around you know from 1980 uh, to to now so quite some time um, so um, check them out it's it's a really really good song it fits in my oeuvre quite well, you know, because it's the darker tones and stuff. 
Um, and yeah, so if you don't know them by now, you should know them after this video. Check them out.